Hello, I'm going to put a AC block off kit from Detroit Thermo into this uh, 2002 or maybe 2003, not sure, Ford Expedition. So these are the these are the block off uh, fittings from Detroit Thermo. And I've taken the battery out of this truck just to make it easier to film. Um, and I've also already cut the, the pipes so the fittings don't interfere. So you can see this pipe that's already cut. Uh, so this is the fitting for suction. I'm going to take this off. Right here, underneath the, uh, oh come on focus, underneath the suction line, you can see there are two fittings for liquid. So we're going to go into the top fitting. Um, and you have to make sure you get the right one. Um, I've also cut these pipes off. That one right there that's not in focus it's the top it's the top one so let me undo these and I'll show you what it looks like okay so the fittings are off that's what the liquid line fitting looks like it's right under this suction hose liquid line fitting and then that's the suction fitting to the rear AC unit so all I'm going to do is put the block off valve on, tighten it down with the same bolt. So I'm going to put a cap over this um, old suction pipe so that it's not a sharp thing out here in the engine bay. So I'll put a cap on there and just zip tie it. But this, uh, this liquid pipe is tucked way down in there. Yeah, there you go. That's the cutoff end of the liquid pipe. That'll be fine. So I'm going to stop the video and put the liquid fitting on. That's what the liquid fitting looks like. I put an adjustable wrench on the, on the peanut to back it up. And um, that's moved the suction line out of the way. And now you can actually see it. So that's what it looks like installed. Okay, so I leak checked this truck with uh, dry nitrogen and it's pretty tight compared to before. Um, this truck has leaking rear AC line that is actually looks like it's been fixed once, maybe twice before. It's got some rubber hoses with hose clamps, so yeah, it's not a it's not a pro job, but those something back there was leaking like crazy so the owners just decided to, to give up and block off um, she's still got a small leak somewhere so I poured about 50 cc's oil in this suction port um, I'm going to uh, cap it off I'm gonna evacuate for a long time because I'm just not doing anything else today so I'm gonna leave the vacuum pump running for a good long time and then I'm gonna charge it to just a little bit over the um, the sticker amount for a front only system and the reason I'm gonna do that is because I've capped the, the liquid line pretty much um, I don't know, there's about 10 centimeters between the T to where the cap off block is. So some extra refrigerant liquid will be in this short little section right here. 
um, that's suction line so that's gonna be almost zero it's vapor so yeah I'm gonna go 10 grams over uh, the factory front only charge and this sticker is not uh, it's not too helpful oh there it is 910 grams okay so I'm gonna charge with 920 grams and um, I put uh, PAG 46 in, which is what Ford uses. Ford actually uses Itamitsu 46 PAG, so uh, that's the factory oil. So this, uh, this PAG 46 would die. Uh, should help me find out where the other small leak is, and I can fix that. 